So to install a VPN on your Amazon Fire Stick is actually very simple. So the first thing you need to do is to install the VPN onto our Fire Stick. So to do this, you want to scroll all the way across to your app drawer, where you can see all of your apps. And then you want to scroll all the way down to where it says get more apps, and you want to click on that. This will take you to the application store on your Fire Stick. So all you need to do now is go across to search, and then you want to click on the search box at the top. Now we just need to search for the VPN we want to use and the one I recommend using is called Private Internet Access. So let's search for that now. And once you search for it, it should be the first result and it will look like this. So we just want to go ahead and open up Private Internet Access where it will tell you more about it. And from here you just want to install the VPN. So once we've installed the VPN, you want to go ahead and open it up. And after a few seconds, it will greet you with the login screen. So you want to click on the login button and then you want to go ahead and log into your account. Now, because you're watching this video, I'm going to assume you don't have one. So you want to click on the link below this video in the description and it will take you to the Private Internet Access website where you can register for an account. I recommend you use Private Internet Access because they've got hundreds of high speed servers all around the world, which is what you need to use when you're watching high definition movers. What's also great is that it comes with a new logs policy, which means they don't store any of the encrypted data that you use through Private Internet Access. So you're completely undetectable while using it. So once you've registered for your account, you want to enter in your details just like this, and then you want to click on login. Once you've logged in, the VPN will look something like this. So it's very easy to use. All you need to do is click on the power button at the very top, and that's going to connect you to the VPN server of your choice. If you scroll down, you can also search for VPN servers and connect to the nearest one automatically. You can also manually select a VPN server from this long list of servers here, in case you want to choose one manually. Now before we get started connecting to a server, there is one setting that I recommend changing. If you go to the settings button in the bottom right hand corner and click on that, it will say protocol at the very top. All you want to do is click on protocol and you want to change it to the WireGuard protocol. You then want to click on OK and you can go back to the server. This is because the WireGuard protocol is much more reliable and faster, which again is very handy for streaming high definition content. So all we need to do now is connect to our VPN server. So in this case, I'm going to search for one. and I'm going to search for the New York server. Once we've done this, you can click on the New York server and it will connect to it within a few seconds. As you can see, we are now fully connected to a US New York server and I'm currently residing in the UK. So once you are connected to the VPN server of your choice, you can exit out of the VPN application and you can go to your streaming platform of choice. As you can see where it says country slash language, it says GB and that's because Netflix still think I'm in Great Britain because that's where I currently live. However, we connected to the US VPN server, so we just need to restart Netflix for it to update. So to do this, you want to go to the get help menu and then you want to scroll all the way down to where it says reload Netflix and you want to do that. So once Netflix is reloaded, we can go all the way down to the get help menu. And if we click on that, as you can see, where it says country slash language has been updated to US. So we are now viewing US content, even though I'm currently living in Great Britain. And that is how you install VPN on your Amazon Fire Stick. Remember, you can get private internet access with the link in the description. So if this video was helpful, please leave a like and pass it on to someone who may find it helpful as well. And if you have any questions or comments, you can leave them below and I'll reply to you as soon as I can.